Hello, my name is Dr David Stokes and this is a video designed to be a beginner's guide to diabetes. I'm a GP based at St Lawrence Surgery in Worthing and I hope you'll find this useful. This video is really designed for those people who've either recently been given a diagnosis of diabetes or perhaps they've got a loved one who's just found out that they've got this serious but manageable condition. And the intention of this video is to give you a brief overview of what diabetes is what you can expect from us in terms of how we can help you manage this condition and some of the ways that you can really learn to help yourself. Now diabetes is a very serious condition but it's the one that I deal with that is most amenable to patients looking after things themselves. There is far more that you do in life that will have a greater effect on your condition than anything I or any of the other health professionals who look after your diabetes could possibly do for you. The way you eat the exercise that you do, as well as how you take the medications that are prescribed, will really make all the difference to how well your condition is managed. It will mean the difference between living well with the condition, and hardly knowing you have it at all, or unfortunately, if you're unable to manage it well, you'll, you'll unfortunately end up with some of the serious complications that I will talk about later. This information I'm giving you today is really the first step in giving you the tools you need to be able to look after yourself. I would also prescribe to you the excellent one day course called Desmond um, which gives patients who have got a new diagnosis a really good handle on the information they need and will give them everything that they need to be able to handle their condition like a professional. This is really your chance now at the beginning of your condition to own it rather than letting it own you. So, what is diabetes? This is the definition in the dictionary, but essentially it's a problem where your body stops being able to use the sugar in a normal way. Before I go into detail about how diabetes occurs and the different types there are, it's probably useful to know a little bit about how the body normally deals with sugars when it takes them in in the first place. So, in this picture we've got uh, a cutaway picture of a, a man there as you can see we've got the stomach and the first part of the gut and then this organ here which sits up in the abdomen here is called the pancreas when we eat or drink the system absorbs the uh, nutrients and sugar into the bloodstream from the stomach when the body does this the pancreas, that organ I've just pointed out, detects the sugar and produces a hormone called insulin, which you've probably heard of. That insulin acts as a messenger throughout the entire body, telling it to take the sugar into the cells uh, to be able to be used in the muscles, or store it in the fat, or in the liver, and then it can either store it for later use or use it there and then. In diabetes, something goes wrong with this system. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 diabetes. Well, this is generally the type that's developed by young people. It's a condition that's developed as the immune system of the body attacks the pancreas that we've seen and unfortunately stops it from being able to produce the insulin that's needed. Unfortunately, as a result of that, the people who suffer with type 1 diabetes, um, they're unable to use the sugar that's in their bloodstream, the level of the sugar goes up, they end up having to pee out all the excess sugar which means that they uh, have to drink lots of water to, to, to get rid of it and they lose lots of weight very quickly and become very poorly because the body is not even able to use the sugar that is in the system. And they need to have insulin injected re frequently in order to bring the sugar levels back down to a nice healthy level and also for them to be able to use the sugar in the body in the way it would normally be done. Then there's type 2 diabetes. Now this is by far the more common type of diabetes and it was traditionally seen in an older age group. Unfortunately now we're seeing it in younger and younger people and it's the, the problem is not with the production of the insulin so much as the body not responding to the insulin that the body's uh, producing naturally. This is something we often see in people who are more overweight, 
Um, it's often um, to do with the fat being stored in, uh, for example, the liver or around the organs. And it makes these uh, tissues much less responsive to the insulin that the body is producing. Well, what's the worry as a result of diabetes? Well, let's talk a little bit about some of the complications. But in both type 1 and type 2, generally we have sugar levels which are higher than we would like. All of that excess sugar floating around in the bloodstream acts a little bit like hard water. It clogs up all of the pipes, the blood vessels. And as the body clearly needs all of these blood vessels to be working properly, the furring up of these blood vessels can cause damage to pretty much any part of the body you like to mention. However, I'm going to go through a few of the more uh, worrying areas where uh, diabetes tends to cause problems and you might have uh, seen people that you know having problems with these down the line. First of all, the heart. The heart is a, an organ that never rests. It's busy all day, working very hard, and therefore it needs an excellent blood supply. As you can see from this diagram, there are a lot of blood vessels that feed the heart itself. And unfortunately, furring up of these blood vessels causes heart attacks, a serious issue. The eyes are another area that uh, diabetes can affect, particularly the blood vessels at the back of the eye on the retina. You can see here that uh, in the top picture on the left, we've got uh, a nice healthy retina. And then lower down here, we've got lots of uh, debris and buildup caused by damage caused by diabetes to the blood vessels. The nerves themselves, you might not have thought it, but they have their own blood supply as well. And the, um, these blood vessels that supply the nerves are very small and therefore get blocked very early in the disease if we're not careful. This can lead to particularly nasty nerve type pain and it can also lead to problems with the feet as we can lose sensation. Talking about feet, feet are generally one of the parts of the body that are very reliable and they don't tend to, uh, we don't tend to think about them until they shout for attention. If we lose sensation in our feet however, they lose the ability to shout for attention. And that can lead to serious consequences as serious infections can go unnoticed until it's too late. Other organs, such as the kidney. The kidneys are there filtering blood, blood all the time, and they have very fine blood vessels which are prone to being blocked up. Unfortunately, in diabetes, if we're not able to keep that blood sugar under control, that can also lead to problems with the kidneys down the line. Pregnancy. Well, women of childbearing at age really need to be aware of, um, that if they have diabetes, that we need to have their control absolutely spot on before they think about pregnancy. Therefore, it's incredibly important that we um, help, uh, pregnant, uh, help women with diabetes from becoming pregnant un unintentionally. And for those who are thinking of becoming pregnant, they should see the team early so that they can get some intensive inputs to make sure that we've got the control absolutely spot on. This will allow you and the baby to remain safe. Not to leave men out here, unfortunately another side effect of diabetes if it's not well controlled due to both the furring up of the arteries as well as the nerve damage is unfortunately erectile dysfunction. This is nothing to be embarrassed about and certainly everyone that the practice is ready to help. If you do have any uh, problems, we have some uh, hints and tricks that can be used to try and keep things working normally. So, having depressed you with an awful sort of sounding set of complications, I want to make you absolutely clear that this is a positive message. You are able to control this. You are able to keep your blood sugar under control. And if you're able to keep that blood sugar under control, you will avoid the nasty complications down the line. You might need to work with us. We might need to give you some medication to help you. Um, but if you are able to do this and make some positive changes to your lifestyle, you will be able to master this problem and it shouldn't cause you any of these nasty problems down the line. So, what do you need to do? Well, it starts with a healthy diet. You need to avoid too much sugar, cut down on the calories, 
you need to try and lose weight and keep that diabetes under control. This is beyond the scope of this video to give you precise dietary advice. However, there is excellent advice available on the Diabetes UK website and members of the team here at the practice can certainly give you some information which you could take home and read. The Desmond course also goes into an awful lot more detail about this. Something I do just want to mention is that uh, special foods for diabetes treat with caution. Uh, they're often quite expensive, they might be low in sugar, but often they make up for that by having lots of extra fat, which might not be the best thing in the world for you. Exercise. Keeping active, keeping healthy, keeping the blood flowing around those pipes will all help, both in terms of using up the excess sugar and keeping you healthy. Looking after those feet we've mentioned. Uh, you might have ignored them up till now, but you really must keep a close eye on them from now on. Make sure you're wearing footwear at all times. Keep those feet safe, because if you uh, did lose sensation, you start to cause damage to them, then you end up with problems. Try and make sure you keep them supple, moisturising them regularly. Make sure you keep the nails trimmed, but do it carefully so as not to cut your skin. And if you do get any problems with your feet, you need to make sure that you see someone about that straight away. What can you expect from us in the surgery? Well, what can you expect from us in the surgery? You'll be given information on how to refer yourself into this Desmond course that I've now mentioned a few times. Um, that will really help you get on the right track with your diabetes early on. The surgery will be organising the nine care processes for you that everyone with diabetes can expect to undertake. What do we do in these nine care processes? Well, we check your weight, we make sure that you uh, think about your smoking status. Smoking is uh, another thing which with diabetes is almost guaranteed to give you a load of these complications that we've mentioned. We will obviously keep an eye on your blood pressure. We'll also be checking your feet to see how the pulses are and see what your sensation is like and make sure everything else looks like hunky-dory with your feet. There'll be blood tests. We'll be checking something called the HbA1c. You'll hear a lot about this with your diabetes as it's a check to see how the average blood sugar has been over about the last three months. We'll also be checking your kidney function. We'll be checking your cholesterol also. And we'll be checking a urine test to see how leaky your kidneys are. Furthermore, your eyes will be screened, but not at the practice. We will be referring you in to have your eyes screened on an annual basis so that they can check the retina, make sure that there's no significant damage to the back of the eye. And if they do pick up any problems, well, they can get you seen as soon as necessary to get that fixed. In the surgery, the nurses will be able to tell you about the appointment schedules that we'll be keeping in order for us to be able to keep that eye on your uh, condition. Um, overall, this has been a brief introductory video. I really hope it helps. And uh, certainly, the more you find out, the more you'll be able to do to take caring for yourself. Many thanks.